Continuing directly from last episode, we're going to head into the next level. I am Marquez. Welcome back to Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Oh, and hello, YouTube, by the way. This is by far the most epic level of the entire game. Well, so far, at least. I'm not going to spoil anything about the future. So, it looks like we got a castle. I'm going to be covering both ways of doing this. There are two ways to complete this level, and I'll cover them both. This is why I separated in the first episode. So, anyway, first area. We have a choice between fire, bomb, beam, stone, and we get a little tomato box to carry around. This. Da 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 da. Epic music! It's 1880s music! Ah, oh, darn it! Anyway, right off the bat, we go right to a mini boss, King Deity's theme. Even though King Deity's a playable character in this game, whenever you defeat a boss, swallow its power. Wait before you move on. You're going to need it in order to get the energy sphere. Epic music! Oh my god, I love this level, I love this level. They give me a spear option, but I will not take it. Anyway! Let's get out of here, Mondo. Should be a bunch. Should be a bunch easier. Oh my God! I avoid taking damage like that. Holy! I love this level. Anyway, epic. Stone Kirby! Anyway, now that we've gotten past that energy sphere, it's time to take stone to the next mini boss. It looks like we're going up in a spiral. Beam is an option, I will not take it. They have terrible options. Work out, Boros! I don't know why they gave me beam for water gap Boros and not spark or leap or something. Oh wait, that's that's Pokemon logic. Does not apply in Kirby games. Yeah. Which is very surprising. You know what? I'd like to see a Kirby RPG. I really would. I mean yeah, Kirby isn't exactly the character you'd expect to see in an RPG that isn't, like, a fan-made, like, animation series. Oh, no! I messed up! Anyway, well, it's not all that bad because I can get it on the second wave. Oh, and that is the other way to complete this level. It works just as well. Anyway, if I miss something here, you can get it that way. Anyway, you'd use water to get rid of that. Now, here you're facing Dubior, the last mini-boss. The one we haven't covered. In fact, the one, this is the first time we see him. Dubior is a fairly easy but airborne boss who covets the spark ability. It's like a flying saucer of some sort. Anyway, now that we've gotten that, we're going to head out at a few star points before the exit, and I missed one, but I'm going to be covering it on my second way. Oh, so close to a one! Not funny! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dark portal, mystic portal, wing portal. I wonder who that is. But anyway, as I'm going to go back in this level and take the other way, if you miss something one way, 
one way you can just go the other way either way works anyway what you're going to want to do is hold up while going through that into that window it's like going through a complete mirror image of the previous of the previous level except it's not a mirror image it's just laid out backwards first mini boss in this one is water gal water galboros or you might call him water galboros honestly heard it Honestly, I haven't I heard anyone really say it, anything about it, aside from me and uh, whoever I played with and all that. This is very easy. I'm winning without... Tomato box! No! Okay, no big, no big. You'd use... Anyway, you see this? We haven't exactly gotten it, but technically we have, so... There's just one way of getting it. I could also use Spark to get it, which makes it very good. Anyway, next time I'll be a little more careful. No, I lost Spark. Well, at least I used it when I needed it. Next mini-boss, I'm going to be going on. This time I'm going up and left. Fighter! I will take it! I'd take it even if I didn't... Alright, this room's a little harder. We're going to be facing King Dew in here. Instant Mega Force Blast. Very helpful. Darn it. If you like lose a power-up, you're screwed when it comes to that power-up. Anyway, as you can see, the difficulty increases, and we go directly from one one mini boss to the other, which is Dubior. I seem to be seriously failing here. All right, Dubior can summon small minions. Not very, not very alarming since you can suck them up and gain the spark ability from then. Out of the way! Surprisingly, you can't get spark from those little bits. I guess you have to actually suck up an enemy. That was number two. As you can see, this is much harder. Anyway, those two shafts. This is a much harder way if you're up for a challenge. I was going to do both in to start off with. Actually, I wasn't. I decided to come up with that as I go. Whip versus spark. I choose spark. Next boss we're going to be covering is two boss, too many bosses. This is the first time. Kibble Blade and Gigant Edge. This is the first appearance of the double mini boss. It will not be the last appearance. I can promise you that right now. Sparks are very, very good here. So, as you can see, we need something sharp to get this next one. Be very careful where you do it. And see, we can get that last energy sphere right over there. Didn't need to go one way, didn't need to go the other way, but we had to go one or the other. So I'll stick with sword. Thank you very much. The second double mini boss is the, is the two remaining mini bosses. Here we face all seven mini bosses. This time it's Bonkers and Mando. I'm so used to facing bonkers with someone else, so you'll see why later. As you can see, we need something with 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 a pound, with a pound ability. Anyway, now that we've got our little pounder, we can pound here. To get to get plenty of one ups, and right here to get one ups and gives you a lot of health, doesn't it? 
they even give you something here for pounding. And right now, anything but a seven will give me a will give me a a like. So well, what the hell? I don't even care. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, got past the mini bosses. All I got past the mini bosses. I beat twelve mini bosses in one episode, one level. Like actually, first five, first five of them, then seven. First, a single mini boss to a one up to the one after the other to the consecutive mini bosses, two consecutive to the two te to the to the first double team up to the second double team up or whatever. Next level will be the boss of Nutty Gnome. So, as so, but before I do that, I gotta wrap up for now. So, this has been Morkes. We just took on the probably the one of most epic levels in the entire freaking game. As I am going to do something that I've been waiting to do all all this time we were in Nine New. Geronimo! <laughs> anyways, anyways, on to on to boss five. I am Morquez. I said I'm re I am also redundant. And I'll see you guys.